Hello friends, I want to share an old parable with you. It is called Darkness and Dawn. A rabbi says to his students, how can you determine the hour of dawn when the night ends and the light begins? One of the rabbi students suggested, when from a distance you can distinguish between a dog and a sheep. No, says the rabbi. It's when one can distinguish between a fig tree and a grapevine, asked another student. No, says the rabbi. Please tell us the answer then, said the students. It is then, said the wise teacher, when you can look into the face of another human being and you have enough light in you to recognize your brothers and your sisters. Until then, it is night and darkness is still within us. I love this imagery that dawn comes when there's enough light in us to recognize the other. We have a lot of things going on in our church, uh, a lot of stuff with the building, with the structure, with the institution, but this idea of dawn coming when the light in us allows us to recognize one another as people. There's still human work to be done. And as we are in this series of celebrating the rich history of our church, as well as looking forward to the hope that's coming, we have this invitation into staying open, curious, and committed to learning. We're looking at some components from Conscious Leadership Group. There's a link to a very short YouTube video in the midweek email. And I would encourage you to watch that. They're usually three minutes long, four minutes, but it just challenges us to maybe shift our thinking, to be consciously approaching things with that in mind, that we'd be open, we'd be curious, and we'd be committed to learning, as opposed to being closed, defensive, or committed to being right. There is still much ministry left for us, for one another, as well as wherever this next journey of life takes each of us. Join us this Sunday as we continue to celebrate the light, the new beginning, the empty tomb.